Everybody lining up <laughs> one by one to apologize to the God, <laughs> Kwame Brown. <laughs> Getting all his apologies. Well, you mean Lenard? I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? The God? Yeah, he apologized. <laughs> and he did it on air as he should have. I didn't even think. Obviously, this is him doing a quote unquote Back apology. Peddling. Yeah, because that smoke. That smoke. I don't know what it, we everything Kwame said, we already knew. Yeah. So like, we, we knew the stuff. I mean, we I won't say everything. Like I, I knew the mama is the one who stopped her from going and testifying. I know uh, he the one that drove her to the party and all this stuff. Now, I didn't know that. Once again, I showed a video. He said that the case was dismissed. He didn't say that he pled to anything. Then we find out he pled to delinquency of a minor. And it's like, oh. <laughs> so, yeah, this this whole apology was just him getting, getting, uh, getting Kwame off his back. I don't know how much it worked. I don't it's think it's not it, gonna work. I, if he, he live right now, and we watched the first hour of it, and it's like mm, only person he really gave you a pass to is uh, Stephen Jackson, Jack, who he had to expose his ass to. But Charlemagne, uh, like after Kwame did it, once again, I don't know why. Maybe it's just his energy. A lot of people went back to that case, started digging more, and found out other stuff that go on with that, like the fact that everybody bring up that the DNA test prove that you know it didn't match no they never did a test to compare her results and Charlemagne's. they gave her a rape kit and Charlemagne. they gave him you know they took some uh dna from him but they never cross-examined because the mother stopped the daughter from testifying and she only stopped her daughter because she didn't want her daughter to go through well, that's what reliving she the incident again well, that's what she said yeah that's what now, she it said. could be and this is just putting out of Jessica Reed and Charlemagne could have been, she could have had a crush on the older guy and then it happened and she's, you know, broken hearted and she didn't, and the mother's covering for her. And, you know, now she's older and she realized you didn't give a fuck about me. She realized that was just a teenage crush she had on the older dude and this older dude was rotten. Or it could be the mama said, I ain't putting to put my daughter on the stand versus this dude. He got connections. This is, I think he was already in the uh, radio industry. He already has some kind of you know connections and stuff, so maybe she didn't want her daughter to go through that. Yeah, maybe but we she can't is. we can't view it in a context because the way you phrased it was like she was older and saying she had a crush. No, no this, I said a younger girl having okay. a crush on the older guy. Yeah, no, she reported it immediately. Yeah, yeah, after it happened. So yeah, yeah. When people found out, people went back to his um podcast where he said things about drugging women. Now the woman in this video that he's the woman in this clip that he's talking about. They went and got a statement from her, and it's not it's not Jessica Reed that they're saying is in the story that he's telling. But it went back to this woman. She said it was you know it was consensual. She know what happened. She didn't get raped. But it's just to prove that that Spanish fly thing is something he do. Well, if you go and listen to um, Funk Funk Master Flex, yeah, yeah, he went into a little bit more detail because I guess he has watched that show what he does with Andrew uh, Andrew Schultz. Yeah, I, I guess you know, he, he probably talks some, about it on there. Well, he probably has some interns and stuff dig up some stuff on him more than likely. I mean, he I mean, referenced I mean, a lot of things on that show. Yeah, I mean, he was like, you kind of making just normal. You trying to normalize drugging women. That was his rant. Obviously, Funk well, Flesh got a big ass, you know, axe to ground with Charlemagne. He yeah. can't stand her. They've been beefing for the longest, so and he was, really can't it was, take it, that. It was mo. Yeah. Scenario: Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I got this girl real drunk, and um. I fought, just fought. that sentence sounds a little fishy. I, I, I not, got her drunk. I, 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 I didn't just no get her drunk. I remember going, I, I went to the sex store and got Spanish fly. Oh, so you raped her? Shut up. <laughs> Spanish fly. You in, they sell it in the sex store. You, I, I'm telling the truth. They, they spell it in the Spanish store. I had to fucking, I had to fucking <laughs> they sell I mean, they sell it in the sex store, store too. You could put that to a girl's throat yeah, and have sex store. with her. That doesn't mean it's so illegal. I, so I put the Spanish fly in the ENJ. We drinking the ENJ and shit. So in my mind, I don't know if this shit really worked, but I felt like I got horny as a motherfucker too. <laughs> 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 so, she took a so, so she was drunk as shit and we had sex and shit and like a lot of my boys was trying to come in the room and fuck her. I'm like, nah, she like I can't I'm not doing that. You know? Wow. Oh. <laughs> Ain't that what Jessica Reed describes? That, that, that's the same thing Jessica Reed was pretty much saying. Yeah. <laughs> Let you run a train on it. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> right. So, it's so, just one on one. It ain't right. Yeah. So, the next morning, right. so the next morning, she wakes up. The next morning, she wakes up and um, we talk about it. And she's like, What happened? Oh, shit. Like, we had sex. 
she said, okay, well, I'm glad it was you. Then a couple days later, she's like, yo, are you sure I only had sex with you? <laughs> and one of my stupid ass cousins was going around saying he fucked her, which he didn't. I, okay. didn't, I know for a fact he did. Okay. I was there the whole time. Yeah, yeah. He did not fuck her. Yeah. He looked at her naked, but he didn't fuck her, <laughs> right? So, so. It's, it's a totally different era. This was this had to be what? 2014, 15, maybe? This was not doing the bill cosby they said it was this is during the bill cosby era i remember hearing somebody say that this is during the same time as the bill cosby situation this clip or at least these things he was saying <laughs> somehow and you look back like how the how in the hell did he dodge how did he dodge all this then because one is protected by the machine and one the machine was going at yeah but Bill still, Cosby, they was going heavily on Bill I, Cosby's ass. I don't know how Charlamagne got around this. In them offices. Now, Charlamagne obviously came out and apologized for what he did once again. It wasn't a real apology. It was to get the smoke off of him. But, <laughs> Kwame Brown, or not Kwame Brown, uh, Stephen Jackson had came out and said that everything was good. And Kwame was like, nah, you ain't apologized yet. Like you ain't do this publicly so he had to you know release his dms he released the dms to prove you know you ain't apologized yet these dms are showing you didn't apologize yet and uh so then he put out a real apology talking about stephen jackson uh he ran and said y'all run and public <laughs> and publicly apologize to other folks when they threaten your jobs or won't apologize to your family member no pride here i apologize for the joke i made I made it publicly and was meant as a joke. Nothing more. I respect how you feel. I fully understand. It wasn't my intention. We was teammates and I never have and never will demean one. Uh, we both asked for public apologies. Proud of the man I am today. The uneducated might say I'm a mark for apologizing. But then again, if they had my life, they would too. I never want to be part of something that's been done for 20 years, bro. Not my intention. <laughs> now, Kwame, I don't know if he I'm a I'm not sure if he actually apologized. Like I'm sorry. He said, I don't feel like I have nothing to apologize for. <laughs> I feel like you're a fake gangster. <laughs> but uh <laughs> he kept Damn. it real with him. But yeah, yeah, he, he 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 actually apologized. And uh this was all he had to do a week there. ago when he went in his DMs. Yep, week ago. But pride and he drug your ass down for he was on their ass for a week. On still him. on their ass to be honest nah he's not really on stack he on he on matt barnes he's still on matt barnes ass he live right now <laughs> 34k watching him right now yeah that's crazy 34k Gigantic. he has surpassed kevin, kevin samuels, samuels. <laughs> biggest pla- biggest numbers but yeah um yeah so the I, I guess hopefully the saga is over now we get to listen to the other stuff he said he talks about some real stuff he talks yeah. about community building and all that type of stuff which is what we need to hear this is what you need to hear the so. black man is taking over youtube i i, I ain't <laughs> want to say it but little hey i'm just saying <laughs> the black masculine is taking over and the need to but yeah uh hopefully now people can actually listen to the gems he dropped he's still a funny dude i'm pretty yeah. he's still gonna be talking shit about matt barnes <laughs> they ain't never gonna be right becky with the good hair they ain't never gonna be right but yeah man uh good for them at least publicly apologize and once again we know they both did it you know save the bag you know move things along because the longer this lasts the, actually the worse it go for them because just like uh steven jackson felt the need a couple times to respond negatively and it was like you can't do that you're supposed to be mr positive now so he realized okay my only out of this is just to apologize your, that's my only out your image is supposed to be uh yeah you're supposed to be a muslim you're not with the game banging black lives matter activist type stuff outreach for children you can't TV be persona yeah man you gotta you know you gotta fake it but anyway now you're living two lives <laughs> but anyway man that's that on that all praise to the most high peace